Hello guys, today they join me for making the steak and the ingredient is potatoes, garlic, black pepper, salt, butter, rosemary, asparagus, and of course our steak that we use it. This is the all ingredients in here. So now guys, we're gonna start for uh, preparing our ingredients. Starting for uh, put the salt and pepper on the top of the stick. Just simple guys, just do like this. It's very easy. And after that, we can put the stick on the side for 5 minutes before we cook the stick. So that the taste of the salt and black pepper can be go inside the stick. Now guys, we do a spelling for potato. Those for the beginner, please be careful because sometimes the the pillar is too sharp. So uh, very, very careful guys. Just do like this, it's very easy. If you don't have filler, you just use the knife. Make sure the knife is really sharp too, so that's easy. It's not hard for you to fill the potato. And now guys, we can cut the asparagus. You know the hard part of the asparagus, we have to cut of that. Yeah, and the end because you know, some asparagus is really hard, so it's hard for cooking. And now we're gonna get the potato again and we cut half. We cut half. Just like this. And then later we're gonna cut dice for easy for uh, cook in the water, the boiling water. Because this one we're gonna make a mashed potato. And guys, don't forget to put the little bit salt in the hot water especially everybody if uh, everyone if you want to boil some vegetable or any kind you want to drop to the water uh, please put a little bit some salt so that the salt can help to uh, to uh, <laughs> to make the food very tasty just do like this guys and then after the cut, we put it back in the plate. And now the boiling water is ready so we can drop in there while we're cooking the steak. So guys, this is the mashed potato and asparagus done already. So now we can put the, add the olive oil in the pan. Make sure guys, the pan is really hot before you drop the steak or 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 anything in there now the pan is ready so we can uh, just only a little bit olive oil now we can drop the stick because the pan is really hot And after that, we put we add some uh, little bit salt and pepper on the top on the steak because we uh, before one side only we I put but so now I add uh, the garlic and the rosemary so that the rosemary uh, taste and the garlic taste can be uh, go uh, penetrate inside the steak. And we wait and we wait for the stick a little bit golden brown on the other side and then we can drop a, add a little bit just one slice of butter now guys I add uh, one slice of butter on the top of the stick so i put in the side and now it's a little bit because not really brown on the side 
so now it's ready guys so i have turned the stick on the other side again and i put the butter on the top of the stick because the stick is hot so it's really good when the butter uh, melted on the stick but guys be careful because sometimes the butter can make a uh, very quick burn in the stick so be careful for adding butter on the stick and the liquid we can uh, use the spoon and just just put that on the stick it's very easy guys and simple but the result is really delicious Now guys, if you can taste the stick, it's up to you what kind of a taste, you know, sometimes those people, they don't want to really salty and some people, they don't like too much salt on the stick. So it's up to you how much you put salt under. Now the stick is almost ready. Look at guys, the stick is a really look like thing, so means it's, it's already um, a rare. On the side is already a rare. So this is how I cook the medium rare stick. And then you can uh, uh, freeze the stick using your finger so if the medium rare or medium or well done i know all the cook you know how to check the stick by using by hand so it's very common and simple just do like this guy if you check the stick medium or rare or well done Yeah, just do this guys just add uh, you know the butter liquid there in the pan you just use the spoon and fall on top on the stick so that they can help the taste too also it's very simple guys now the stick is almost ready guys look guys it's really pink so maybe like two to three minutes and then the stick is done look at that now it's a medium oh uh, uh, rare now it's a rare just two minutes after that then the stick is done Okay guys, the stick is almost done. It's ready. Yeah, it's ready. So we're gonna put this one in the plate and uh, we rest just like two to five minutes. 
two to three to five minutes to raise the stick because you know sometimes if you don't raise the stick and then you cut right away and then the blood is still in there so if you raise the stick for two to three minutes and then the blood can uh go out and relax what you call the one yeah and now guys you can add the olive oil in the pan and add the asparagus Add salt and pepper. And uh, shake a little bit. Then you can check the asparagus if it's soft or hard and then if you felt a little bit hard and then uh put a little bit and now it's ready guys now we have to do is uh, drain the water for our mashed potato after drain is uh put it back in there and we add some uh we add some butter It's up to you how much butter you can put in there. Because especially it's hot and then you put the butter, it's very quick to melt it. First, before you add the uh, heavy cream, you just mask the mashed potato first with the butter. Because the heavy cream is cold, so if you draft here right away, it's hard to melt it, the butter. So, when you see the butter is already melted with the mashed potato, so you have to add the heavy cream. If you add a heavy cream, so it's easy to, to mix it. You just do like this. Yeah. And then slowly, you know, slowly, slowly. Not, don't, don't uh, really hard or push really hard. Yeah. Now it's ready. You have to add uh, 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 black pepper and salt. Okay. We adding the salt and black pepper, and then mix again. After that, you can test, guy, if how much uh, the taste you want. You know, if you need more salt, and then you can add. Yeah, I think it's good. Now we have we we have to plate now. First, we have to put the mashed potato in the plate. Just like this, guys. You know. <laughs> And then, after we put the mashed potato, we have to put the asparagus. Uh, it's up to you guys who, uh, what kind of style you put it. For mine, I want the asparagus to the top of the mashed potato. Because everyone there have a style to plating the steak. So it's mine, I think it's easy to do this. It's a very simple. So after that, after we put the asparagus on the side, I just do like, you know, that's a clock style. Just, uh, just do like this. Now we can put the steak on the side. Here we go. It's very simple, guys. This is the steak with asparagus and mashed potato. I prefer for... Uh, medium steak so i hope i hope you like this video guys and this video can help you to uh, make this uh, steak too it's very simple you know 
it, because if you go in the restaurant, oh, this is very expensive. So if you have time, you go to the market, buy the steak, buy the mashed potato. Oh no, ma buy the potato and asparagus and do like this. It's very simple, guys. And really delicious. Now we have to cut and we show if this is perfect medium steak. Oh, ooh, look at that guy. It's a perfect medium. Oh, delicious. Look at that. The pink. Yeah, it's a perfect medium. Because if you put long time in there, you're gonna be medium, medium well. So, oh. So now we have to cut. I hope you enjoy to watching this video guys if 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 you are new in my channel or you you never uh, subscribe yet so please subscribe my channel like and don't forget to click the bell not notification bell so that all the video that I make it is uh, you got the compare uh, what you call that one notification Thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoy my video and God bless you all. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.